What's up guys, Shane aka Musty Ed here. Today's going to be a quick video where we discuss a pistol I just received. Um, I uh, contacted Sentry Arms, asked them if I could test out a pistol and they are kind enough to send me uh, the Canik uh, TP9SF Elite. Now I know I'm a little late to the party here guys because this has been out for some time but I've been wanting to review this forever and I got a hold of them and they were kind enough to send this one down to me so I really appreciate it. Uh, I believe right now another pistol of theirs is kind of buzzing around the web. It's the uh, Canik uh, TP9 SFX. It's a full size, full frame pistol, uh, a little faster shooting with some portholes and stuff. So uh, that's going on right now. So um, yeah, we're just going to be checking out this. This is going to be a full review today. This is just going to be a quick intro to let you guys know I have this thing. Talk about a few things uh, specifically, and then we'll do a full review down the road after I put some rounds down range with this sucker. Uh, so as usual, guys, let's get the uh, camera flipped around, take a close look at this thing, talk about a little more detail. All right, guys, here's a closer look at the Canik TP9 SF Elite. Uh, the first thing that might pop into your head here, guys, is the two-tone paint job. Uh, the slide up top is actually Cerakoted gray, which gives it a really nice contrast with the black frame down here. Uh, the other thing you guys might notice is the machine work. Uh, they've gone ahead and done a lot here, including front serrations, which really helps you get a nice, easy purchase when you have to rack the slide if your hands are uh, wet, muddy, or bloody. Uh, that's not something a lot of uh, companies out there offer from the factory, so it's really nice to see that uh, these uh, Canik pistols offer that. Um, along with that, uh, we have some other machine work that, that's done that's really nice to see that we'll discuss in the, in the future video when we do the full review. Um, on top of that, we have a set of worn tactical sights uh, straight from the factory. We have a complete blacked out rear and a red fiber front. Uh, that combo, guys, makes it really easy to identify your front sight post there. Uh, line up with your target, pull the trigger for quick acquisitions. Those are really nice uh, set of sights. Uh, this pistol is mostly ambidextrous. I say mostly because we do have an ambi sights, slide stop, uh, slide lock, whatever you guys like to call it. Um, I really do like this slide lock, slide stop. It's really comfortable. I don't have to reach, uh, remove my grip of the pistol at all to actuate this thing. Uh, and when I say mostly, I mean the magazine release. Now it is reversible, so you guys, for your lefties, you can flip it around. Uh, but it isn't uh, offered it's from the factory on both sides, but you can easily be flipped around. And as you guys can see, the factory magazines just shoot out of there, and this is empty, so when full, it's really going to uh, fly out of there, uh, out of the pistol. Uh, straight from the factory, the Canik TP9 SF Elite comes with uh, two 15-round magazines, so you can have a total of 15 plus one, which is really nice to see in a uh, smaller frame pistol when compared to their full-size pistols that they've been offering. Uh, moving down to the trigger, as I'm sure you guys have heard, this has an amazing trigger from the factory. Uh, definitely better than any other pistol options that I've uh, seen, held, shot, or that I own. It has a really nice clean break, a really nice audible reset that's not too far off uh, the break. And on top of that, it has a red safety paddle, which I'm really digging, and that safety paddle is really comfortable. You're not going to get that uh, sore finger like you do with Glock sometimes, and it does go uh, flush with the trigger when you pull it. So don't worry about it rubbing your raw or anything. Uh, we'll do more on the trigger again in a future video. The frame has some decent texturing. They've gone ahead and added uh, added it pretty much wherever you need it. You have some on the sides, uh, the front of the grip, the rear of the grip. And something that you don't see from other manufacturers is they actually add some stipple here to your finger index points. So when you're you know holding it, you can have something to maybe improve your grip a little bit. Um, it's flush, so it's not, you know, it's not the greatest thing in the world, but it's definitely nicer than having just uh, a standard flat uh, plain polymer like you have with the rest of the pistol. Lastly guys, there's uh, two things worth noting here that everyone seems to be pretty excited about. Uh, first, this model doesn't have the decocker, uh, which some of their previous models did have. Now the decocker didn't seem like an issue to me. Um, anyone out there who owned one and shot one seemed to agree, uh, but for those who couldn't handle that feature, uh, you can now rest assured that this thing is absent, it doesn't have that decocker, uh, so you'll be uh, good to go. Second and most important thing is the overall size. They've shrunk this pistol down a bit to the point where it closely resembles the overall size of a Glock 19, Glock 23. Now I do have a Glock 23 that I'll use in a future video to compare the sizes, but I will say the frames are almost identical and the slide is just a hair longer on the uh, Canik TP9 SF Elite. 
Uh, that shorter frame will make concealing this pistol quite a bit easier because you don't have to worry about printing as much with that longer frame. So a nice option if you guys are looking to conceal a, a larger pistol. Well guys, that about wraps it up. There's still a lot to go over on this pistol that I didn't talk about today. So we'll dive into that in the future video where we do the full review. Now it's time to get out to the range, start shooting this sucker, and let you guys know what I think of it. I cannot say thanks enough to Century Arms. It's people and company like Century Arms that helps me, helps my channel grow and bring you guys new products. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave in the comment box below. If there's anything you want to see me specifically talk about in the final review video, please let me know as well. As usual guys, take care, stay safe, and we'll see you next time.